doing another unboxing. This time it is a reverb pedal from Donner. Uh, just wanted to try it out, just wanted to get some uh, reverb that I could plug some uh, live synths in. I'm wearing the same shirt because this is right after the double pocket operator unboxing, which was very exciting. And this is the kind of thing I would plug things like that into. For some kind of live reverb, I figure it's an effect that could always be useful. More so than delay, because um, if you're doing live improvisation, delay, you're trying to get the right time, you know, which you can do, it's not impossible to do, but with reverb, it's like, you know, it's just less to worry about. It's something you can just turn on now, bang, there's reverb. You know, yes, you can adjust the time of the reverb, but it's not such a tempo-based beat matching thing that will be like, you know, noticeable to people like me in the audience would be like, hmm. I've noticed this delay time is, uh, and this isn't even like creatively off time, this is just off time. That's the kind of thing I might notice, so I would think that, you know, other people will notice it because I'm paranoid that way. But whatever. Either way, I like reverb, got a reverb pedal. We don't have to get psychological, but it uh, looks nice actually. It's a nice box, it's pretty heavy. This is the Donner Verb Square Evolution Plus. Don't forget. And sell it a mini pedal, which um, for me, who cares? Because I'm not going to be stepping on it. It's going to be on a table. And table space is kind of a, something I've noticed starts to run out when you buy a lot of little things here and there. So, you know, smaller pedals is cool. And this is actually like for, you know, this is like more of a budget brand because I didn't want to, you know, pay $300 for a boss pedal and I didn't want to buy a. Behringer plastic pedal, even though I don't hate Behringer or anything, it's just, um, I don't know, they did look kind of weird in the videos, and these things are metal. Nice little book, we got everything in here, and we're getting back to stickers, haven't had a sticker included with something in a while, so this is a party, I guess I could stick this on something, even the pedal, perhaps. Oh, they have some sort of a Vine program with a QR code that I can uh, join up in. Not just one. Two stickers. Pretty hype. Interesting logo there with the music note. This actually is even smaller than I thought. I thought this would just take up the whole box, but now that I've moved things out, it is quite small. Not that that's a problem, because I'm not going to be stepping on it, as I said. This is nice packaging. See, the thing was, I also wanted to get a chorus pedal. And so I thought, maybe I'll get one from this company, if the one that I already bought, the reverb one, looks nice, and is nice when I get there. And you know what? This is incredibly solid. This feels nice. The bottom is nice. It's not going to move on a table or anything like that. Now, the thing I liked about this, again, um, it has multiple knobs, which for somebody, for a guitar player, maybe that's not as essential because you're not going to like get down on the floor and start playing with them. But, um, you know, so we got here the, uh, we got a light to show you it's working, which is nice. Not everyone has that. Multiple modes. Room, hall, church, spring. Plate and mod. Oh, and dark sea. Don't forget. And you also can do the level of the echo, the decay, and the tone. So you've got a lot of different choices. Some of them didn't have level, you know, they just have decay and tone, so I was like, eh. And they didn't have the modes. It's got the little solid ass switch right there. Honestly, I like this, and it's really small. Like the thing, honestly, the patch cords are gonna take up more space, so maybe I'll buy some more of those like L kind of connectors like the crank connectors they use for these, because it's got the this and the that. See, I'm not really a guitar guy. I never really play guitar, I've never really been into pedals, but uh, they're much more cost effective than buying like some giant rack mount reverb, you know? So uh, I got a lot to learn in this pedal game, and uh, given the price of them and what they do, uh, you may see a lot more of these unboxings in the future of pedals, maybe even Donner pedals in the future. We'll see how this sounds. Thanks for watching.